Hello, back to some more math pages, more hard thinking pages, so be ready. Here we are, Thursday's math. Match the pictures with the number sentence. So we are thinking about taking away nine. So we have practiced drawing a line through nine. These are they're using the five the pictures. So now we've got to match them. Okay. What is this one? It looks like we have how many all together? 5, 10, 15, 16, and then they've taken away 9. Ah, 16, take away 9. Gotcha. How many are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's a 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's a 5. And 1. Okay. 10 plus 1. 11, take away 9. Oh, that's this one. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. You can do this. Match the picture to the sentence. Then <coughs> they've drawn the picture and they just want you to do the math. So they've drawn 12 pencils. We're going to cross off 9 and we'll write the sentence. 12, take away 9 equals, oh, it says circle 10 and subtract. Hmm. I'm doing it differently than the suggestion. 12 take away 9 leaves 3. Here is 14. We're going to take away 9. 9 leaves this much and this much, and it leaves this much, and write the sentence. All right. We'll just keep going. Subtract 9, subtract 9, write the sentences, okay? Draw. Hmm. So we're going to do it differently again, because they've taught us more than one way of doing things, and I do not want to confuse you. Okay, so let's draw it and then subtract. So 12 take away 9. We're going to draw 12 by doing groups of um, 5, 10, 2, 10, 11, 12, take away 9, that leaves 3. And if I was drawing 14, I'd be drawing 5, and then 10, and then 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, I take away 9, and that leaves oops, my 5. Okay, so you can just draw your own. I just do little dots. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And then subtract. But do your dots in groups of five so that it becomes two group five, ten, and one, two, three. Five, ten, fifteen. No, oh, three groups of five. Okay. No pictures this time. Just brain power. Lots of brain power. You should know these without using your math rack. Most of these tens you should know without using your math rack. But on this side is a little bit of having to think. You have to find the missing part. 10 take away something equals 0. How could we get, if you don't know, just know that we're looking for the two parts of 10. 0 and something else. Ah, zero and ten. Don't write in this little tiny box. Write over here. Write your answers are, are here, not in the little tiny boxes. Nine take away something equals zero. What are the two parts? Zero and nine. Oops, that ten doesn't look very good. Um, so you're thinking eight take away something equals zero. You've got to do some thinking. If I have eight cookies, how many do I have to take away to get zero? Oh, I have to eat all eight of them to get to zero. So you're going to have to do some logic thinking here. Stretch yourself. Think about it. If you need help, ask an adult. And the hardest question, so these are pretty easy, and these are kind of medium, and then these are super hard. And if they're too hard, you don't have to do them. But 
They're good if you fancy doing them. Okay, here, look at the equal sign. The equal sign is right, in fact, I'm gonna use a highlighter. The equal sign is in the middle between two, two number sentences. 10 take away eight is the same as nine take away. Hmm, you have to work it out. 10 take away eight is two. How do we get from nine to two? Oh, nine take away seven. Eight take away six, oh, that's two again is the same as 10 take away what? How do we get to two here? 10 take away hmm, eight. This is more challenging. So um, you definitely have an adult, if you try this, have an adult check your work. If you try this, the medium section, have an adult check your work. Because then if you're making a mistake, they can help you get past it. This part, you should have that down. All right, my friends, I have one more page for you. Making sure your brain is happy math. Look at this, this is the good stuff. Fun math, except it's a lot of coloring. All different patterns, right? A, B, A, B, C, A, A, B, A, B, B. Make your own, make your own. Super fun. Um, you know, an AB means you choose a color to be A, and you choose a color to be B, and you repeat it. A, B, pink is A, A, B, A, And you keep going. A, B, C means you have to have three colors, an A, a B, and a C. A, A, B means two A's and then a B. You know, a fun game, two A's and then a B. A fun game is to do this with um, clapping or you can do an A-B game by sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up. A, A is sitting down, B is standing up. You could play that with a friend. You could do a, a, another game where A is tap your nose and B is tap your head. A, B, A, B, A, B. Or you could do A, A, B, A, A, B, or A, B, C. A, B, C, A, B, C. So have fun with some patterns and have a great Christmas. I'll see you all in January. Bye-bye.